this video demonstration, we're going to run through a number of the key features of Canon Booker. Firstly, we will add a new booking into the system to show you that process. Then we will check in and check out a number of bookings. After which, we will show you how to add new customers and pets into the system. And then we'll give a quick run through of the key features of Canon Booker. To begin this demonstration, we're going to add a new customer into the system. To add a new customer, click on the customers link in the left hand menu. Next, click on the green Add Customer button in the top right hand corner. From this screen, we're going to add in the customer's details. Once we've added in the details for this customer, scroll down and click on the Update Details button. Next up, we're going to add a pet to this customer's profile. To do so, click on the Add Pet button on the right hand side. Once you've added in the pet's name, the pet type and the breed, click on the Add button. This is going to create a pet record associated with this customer. To add in more details about this pet, click on the view link on the pet record that was just created. From the pet's profile screen, we can see here that we can add in a number of different information data points on this pet. Ranging from colour, sex, if they've been spayed or neutered, their size, their weight and additional notes. Scrolling down, we can add in registration and microchip numbers, insurance details, temperament details, and we can also add in feeding and medication notes. In Kennel Booker, you can upload up to five images of a pet. To add an image, click on the Upload Image button. Next, locate the image that you wish to use, and the image will be uploaded to Kennel Booker. If you're using Kennel Booker from a smartphone, you can take pictures of the dog that are at your facility and upload them straight into Kennel Booker. Scrolling further down, you can see there, there are three vaccinations required for this pet none of which have been added. You can add vaccination dates as required. Once you've added in your vaccination dates, click on the Save button. We are now going to add a new booking into the system for the customer that we just created. To add a booking, click on the Add Booking link in the left-hand menu. From here, select the service that you wish to book. Kennel Booker has eight different booking types, including boarding, daycare, and grooming. Additional booking types include homestay, training, and walks. You can also add in your own booking types into the system. Once we've selected the service that we wish to book for, we're now going to add in the dates for this booking. Once we've added in the dates, we click on the check availability button. We are now going to look for the customer that we just entered. To continue with the booking, click on the green select button. Next up, we're going to select the pets for the booking, assign them to a room for the duration and assign the price. We're going to choose max, Next, we're going to assign Max to a room for the duration of the booking. We're going to choose room number four. And finally, we are going to assign a rate to this pet. You can see here from the booking summary screen, this booking is for seven nights and is a total of $245. Tax on this booking is an additional $24.50, giving a total of $269.50. If you wish, you can assign a discount to this booking. You can also save the rate selected against the pet for future bookings. To continue with the booking, we click on Next Step. Next up, we have the ability of adding additional services to a booking. For this booking, the customer has requested that their pet be washed on the day of checkout. From the quantity drop-down list, we are going to choose Checkout Day, and we're going to click Add. This is going to add a bat to the customer's booking. It will be automatically scheduled to take place on the day of checkout. The customer has also asked that their pet be walked for an additional one hour per day. To select this, we are going to choose the Everyday option from the drop-down list. We are then going to click on the green Add button, and we're going to click on Next Step. From the booking summary screen, we're going to see the booking is checking in for a total of 7 nights, and the total booking cost is $563.50. This includes 1 bath and 8 additional walks. To add the booking into the system, click on the Create Booking. Once the booking has been saved, the system will generate a booking confirmation email that you can send to your customer. From the settings area, you can choose for this email to go out automatically. Or in this case, we can customize the email before it's sent to the customer. To send the email to the customer, click on the green Send Confirmation Email button. We are now going to demonstrate how to check in and check out a booking. We can see from the dashboard screen the new booking that we just entered into the system for John Collins. Because this is John's first booking with us, we're going to see a purple icon next to their name. On subsequent bookings, this will not appear. To check in the booking, 
you can either click into the booking record and click on the check-in button, or you can click on the green check-in button on the right-hand side of the screen. Once you click on the button, a pop-up window will appear, giving you an overview of the booking. In this overview, we can see that the customer has no digital waiver signed. To continue checking in the booking, click on the green check-in button. Once checked in, the booking will move from the checking in panel into the occupants panel. To view more details about the booking, simply click into the booking record and the full booking detail screen will appear. From the top of the screen, we can see key information about the booking. We can see that the customer has no waiver signed. They're currently signed up to no subscriptions and there's no tags associated with the booking, the pet or the customer. From the booking details panel, we can see information about the booking, such as the customer's details, the checking in and checking out dates. If required, we can add notes about the booking, or if the customer has brought belongings for the pet, we can add these into the system. Beneath the booking details panel, we have a panel that will list the pets associated with this booking. We can see here that Max is a beagle and has three vaccinations, which are all currently in date. We can also see that they've been assigned to run number four for the duration of the booking. If you click on the PDF icon next to the pet's record, this will generate a run card that you can print off and attach to the door of the pet's room. Along the right hand side of the screen, in the top right hand corner, you've got the booking cost panel. From here, you can see the base booking price and any additional extras that have been added. We can also see the tax that has been added to the booking and we can see the total outstanding balance of the booking. Further down, we've got a panel where we can assign payments to a booking. We can add incidents onto the booking record. We can add activity notes to the booking and further down, we can see a summary of the email and SMS messages that has been sent to the customer for this booking. To demonstrate the checking out process, we're going to modify the dates of this booking. To modify the dates, we're going to pull up the date picker and we're going to choose a date in the past and we're going to set the checkout date to the current date. Scrolling further down, we're going to save the booking. We can now see that this booking is due to check out today. Because the duration of the booking has changed, the price has been automatically updated. The total cost of this booking is now $717.50. To check out this booking, you can click on the green checkout button. Once you do this, the checkout screen will appear. From the left hand side of the screen, you can see a summary of the booking costs. From the right hand side of the screen, you can add in the payment details for this booking. To finish the checkout process, click on the blue checkout bookings button. Once you do this, the booking will be marked as checked out and the customer will be sent an email receipt. We are now going to show some of the key doggy daycare features within Kennel Booker. On the dashboard, we provide a quick check-in feature for walk-in customers. All you need to do is enter in the pet's name and choose them from the drop-down list. Then click on the blue button. If multiple customers arrive at the same time, you can add in additional pets into the quick check-in feature. Once you have added in all of the pets, simply click on the blue add bookings button to add these directly into the system. Once added, these bookings will be automatically checked into the system and you will see them in the checkout panel. To add a daycare booking, select daycare from the drop-down list. From the duration drop-down list, choose the duration of the booking. You can choose full day, half day or hourly. You can also add in recurring bookings and multi-day bookings. If you have a customer that comes in every Monday and Wednesday, for example, you can add in bookings for this customer for the next two years by choosing the recurring option. Once you do this, simply select the week that you wish these bookings to start from. Next, choose the days that you wish to make bookings for, and finally, from the drop down list, choose how many weeks you wish to recur this booking for. You can make recurring booking for up to 156 weeks. At the end of the booking process, you'll have added into the system 312 bookings for this customer for the next two years. Instead of choosing a recurring booking option, you can choose the multi-day option instead. This is going to pull up a calendar, which will let you quickly add in bookings for the next 90 days. Simply select the days that the customer wishes to book in for and choose the duration for each of these days. To add in a booking, once you've selected all the days that the customer wishes to book in from, 
Scroll down and click on the check availability button. Next, select the customer. From the scheduling page, you can see which dates are being booked for this customer. You can optionally add in a check-in and check-out time or modify the price. You can see here we're adding two full days and one half day booking into the system. To continue the booking process, click on next step. And finally, on the booking summary screen, review the details of the booking and you can optionally apply a discount if required. To add these three bookings into the system, click on the create booking button. Once added into the system, the booking confirmation screen will appear and the confirmation template email will be automatically generated. To send this email to the customer, click on the send confirmation email button. To add a grooming booking into the system, choose grooming from the service dropdown list. In Kennel Booker, we have two options for scheduling grooming appointments. You can either set the time and date manually, or you can use the slot-based booking system. In this example, we're going to show the slot-based booking process. From the appointment date drop-down list, we can see how many appointments are free on what days. In this example, we're going to choose Monday the 14th of June, and we can see here that there's appointments free at 8, 10, and 11.30 a.m. To add the booking, click on the check availability button, select the customer, and then choose the pet from the drop-down list. You can then choose the slot that you wish to book. We are also going to add in a price for this booking, and we're going to apply a 10% discount. To continue, click on next step. From the additional services screen, you can add additional services onto the booking. From the additional services screen, you can add additional services to the customer's booking. In the settings of Kennel Booker, you can add in all of your additional services and you can optionally group your additional services into packages. These packages can then be sold at a reduced cost to make them more appealing to the customer. In this case, we're going to add the full works package onto the booking. We're then going to click on next step. And finally, we're going to see the booking summary screen. Once the booking has been saved into the system, we will see the booking confirmation email that will be sent to the customer. You can see here that the grooming service has been selected. To send the email to the customer, click on the send confirmation email button. When you log into Kennel Booker, you will be automatically shown the dashboard for the day. From the dashboard, you can see key facts and figures about your facility. Along the top of the screen, you can see how many pets are currently on site, how many rooms are occupied, how many bookings there are for daycare, and a count of the other booking types for the day. Scrolling down the page, we have the quick check-in feature, from which you can quickly add in both daycare and training bookings into the system. Scrolling further down, we have the three main panels. We have the checking in panel, where you're going to see the pets that are checking in for the day. We're going to see the occupants who are currently on site. And finally, we're going to see the pets that are checking out. Scrolling further down, we've got four additional boxes. Services that have been added to bookings that are due to be completed on a particular day will appear here. Additionally, any items in the to-do list will appear, and any feeding and medications that need to be given to pets will appear. The Kennel Booker menu system. The main menu of Kennel Booker is on the left-hand side of the screen, from which you will have easy access to all of the key features of Kennel Booker. We're now briefly going to discuss some of these key features. Below the dashboard link is the statistics screen. When we click into the statistics screen, we're going to see information such as our current occupancy rate, how many hours we've saved this week in admin, and how many new customers have been added to the system this month. From the calendar, we'll see how many bookings we have per day and how many rooms will be occupied for each day of the month. Below the statistics screen, we're going to see the add booking screen. And below that, we're going to see the booking screen. From the booking screen, we can see all of the bookings currently in the system, broken out into each individual service. From this screen, you can filter the bookings shown using the status drop-down list at the top of the screen. Below the booking screen is the waitlist feature. At busy times of the year, you may not be able to accommodate all of the booking requests that come in. For any bookings that you cannot facilitate, you can add them to the waitlist screen. When you click into the waitlist screen, the system will automatically check to see if you've got availability on the requested dates. 
If you do, you can call the customer and ask them if they still want to go ahead with their booking. If they do, from the options drop down list, you can click on the add booking button to add a booking for this customer. Below the waitlist feature is our calendars feature. From the screen, you have calendars for each specific service in the system. On our boarding calendar, you can see an overview of the month and you can see which rooms are occupied at what times. Our grooming calendar will give you an overview of the week ahead. It'll show you which bookings have been added to the system and it'll also show you any booking slots that have not yet been filled. And our daycare calendar will show you your daycare bookings for the week ahead. Scrolling further down, you've got your main customer screen. From here, you will see all of your customers and pets that have been added into the system. From the reports, we have reports broken out into two categories, your daily reports and your financial reports. In Kennel Booker, you can restrict access to your financial reports to either just the administration account or key staff members. The system includes a number of daily reports, such as your check-in and check-out reports, occupancy reports, and any services that need to be carried out, as well as a number of other reports. In the financial reports section, we have 20 plus different financial reports, where you can break down your bookings and revenue based on a number of different criteria. All of the reports in the system, once generated, can be exported into Excel. Below the report section, we have our point of sale system. If your facility sells products to your customers, you can add those into Kennel Booker. You can then add these products to either your bookings or create a standalone sale within Kennel Booker. Beneath the point of sale feature, we have our to-do list. From the screen, you can add in one-off to-do items or recurring items that need to be carried out every day or every week. Below to-do list is our marketing feature. Using this feature, you can create cohorts of your customers. For instance, you can make a list of customers that haven't booked for grooming within the past 60 days. You can then choose to either email or send an SMS to that customer, letting them know that they're overdue for a groom and to give you a call if they wish to make a booking for their pet. From the screen, we can see pets that have bookings in the next 90 days that either have no vaccination records on file or that have vaccinations which have expired or are due to expire before the booking checks in. From the screen, you can quickly send an email reminder to that customer, letting them know that their pet's vaccinations will have expired and to bring in their latest vaccination certs when checking in. Beneath the vaccination screen is the regulatory compliance screen. This screen will quickly show you which customers, pets and bookings have missing information that you require. For example, for Max's record, his vaccinations are currently in date. However, he's currently missing insurance details, emergency contact details, and has not signed a booking waiver. Further down the screen, you can see a grooming booking. For grooming bookings, we do not require vaccinations, insurance, or emergency contact details. However, a waiver does need to be signed. You can quickly add in this missing information by clicking on the fixed link underneath record. Beneath the regulatory compliance screen, we've got our integrations with two accounting packages, QuickBooks and Xero. If you use either of these accounting packages, you can quickly send over your bookings, your payment records, and your customer details over to either QuickBooks or Xero. And finally, further down, you will see our help section and our settings section. Our help section currently has over 100 articles. Each of the help articles provides a written description of how the feature works. And we're available, we also show a demo video on how to use that feature. Below the help link is a link into our settings panel. From our settings screen, you can go into each of the different booking types within Kennel Booker and further customize the workflows and services offered.